Hello fellow survivors, builders, and explorers. This is Sypha, and welcome to Sypha Builds and Unleashed, or something to that effect. Alright guys, um, I think the wizard tower has it for the purple amaranth wood. And I already have uh, most of the stuff I'm going to need, and since we just made this night tour, I think, uh, since it's a wizard tower, that'd be a nice way to light it. But, as far as the structural blocks, I think I'm going to go with the bleached uh, bone stuff. Pretty easy to make, we need bone meal and bricks. And... Ooh, was that it, huh? Hmm, I thought I had more bones than that. Well, let's make more. And... okay. If not, it won't be that big of a deal. We can always do some uh, skeleton hunting. And then I want to convert them into the bleached stone... Like that, and then if we do that one more time, we get uh, bricks. So, I like these. This is definitely not going to be enough. Okay, I think that the plot I'm going to use is over here, and uh, I'm going to show you, these are uh, more Tinker's Construct stuff, I don't think I showed it to you, but this is a shovel, and um, let me show you what the shovel does here. Boom! So that's been uh, really nice for uh, building the road, is why I have that. And the hammer is basically the same thing, except it works on uh, you know rocks and ore. Stuff like that. So just uh, handy construction tools. You can see I built a little bridge here and continued the road over across the ravine. And I think that this little plot right here will be nice for our wizard tower. Now it was kind of a, a, a tie between the wizard tower and sort of the, uh, the haunted house. And you know what? I'm going to do both. But not this episode. It is October, so I think towards the end of the month we will find maybe an orange wood and possibly use that with a black building material to build us uh, some kind of haunted Halloween themed house. I think that'd be kind of fun when we get closer to Halloween. So I, uh, I looked through a few designs for wizard towers and they all sort of follow the same pattern and I like it. Sort of a circular base with a, um, a triangular or, you know, pyramid top. And I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Now let me go ahead and lay out, and I think I determined that the 11 radius circle would work out really good for this plot. So, go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that, 2, 3, 4... Five, and I uh, I wanted to grab some dirt. Now I know uh, that it's going to overhang the uh, the ravine, and that's fine. I actually uh, I kind of like that actually. All right, not going to need my wand anymore. Okay, and then uh, let's see here, like that. Like that. See, yeah, okay. I think this is an 11 uh, radius circle I'm building. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't really need that. And then diagonal, diagonal. One, two, three, four, five. Diagonal, diagonal. Okay. And then here is the uh, base of our tower, and I don't know how high up I'm going to take it. But I am uh, absolutely going to need more bones. Oh, I remember something else I want to look at. While we are waiting for the, uh, the sun to drop, 
is I wanted to look at the uh, the stained glass because I think it'd be kind of cool to put a uh, purple stained glass windows in this place. Okay, let's look at what we need for that. Okay, purple stained glass windows. So glass ceramic dye, clay and purple dye. Interesting. Um. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go get some roses. There we go. Stained glass panes. That's what I'm after. I think that'll look pretty sharp. These berry bushes are nice. They don't refill too much uh, hunger, but, um, you know, it's something you don't have to replant them or anything. You just go and pick the bushes. You know what, guys? I am a giant idiot. I have been reminded before that you can get all the bones you need from the nether from... Aha! Oh, dear. Anyway, uh, from those bone things. There's no need to hunt skeletons. I am gonna kill this guy. Ah, rats. There we go. Okay, anyway, back to the bones. Um, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm really dumb when it comes to the bones. And I think you can uh, pulverize them. I don't know if you can actually pulverize these or not. But we'll find out. But yeah, you get lots and lots of bones through these. So, uh, I'm not sure if the... Oh, look at that. The hammer even works on these. Anyway, I, I don't know if the macerator will work on these. Um, if it doesn't, then I'll go ahead and build a pulverizer. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, I got, I'm going to get so many bones from these that I'm probably not even going to have to worry about it. Yeah, there definitely wasn't any need to uh, pulverize. I ended up getting, um, <laughs> I don't know, like 800 bone meal from harvesting uh, not quite three of those big skeletons. I should have charged my jetpack up. So, uh, yeah, we're okay on bone meal now. I got these cans from a uh, one of those loot bags or whatever they are. Okay, so let's convert you to those and then to these. I may want to use the regular blocks for some stuff, so... I'm not going to convert them all to the bricks right now. And like I said, I don't know how far I'm going to take this... Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, that definitely needs to be taller. <laughs> I am going to have to go get more clay, I think, because now I've got plenty of uh, plenty of bone meal, but not enough clay. But that's okay, because our uh, our special, the shovel, the excavator, makes uh, getting clay a cinch, and we are right next to a swamp biome. I do have the last of it cooking up, but I have a feeling it's not going to be enough. I think I'll go one level higher. I've had this thing recently with building in these uh, sort of circle structures, and I don't know why. I think that they look really good. I think so, anyway. Okay. Now... Let's see here. Hmm. What would be the best way to do this? Oh, where's my dirt? Where'd my dirt go? So now the question is, do I want the um, the cap for the top of this place hang over one block or two? I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm doing this right, I think. I think. <laughs> ah. 
Man, the jetpack makes up uh, building so much easier. <laughs> Shovel is so cool, isn't it? I love it! Okay, so do I just go over the one like this and then build up? Uh, I think that looks pretty good with the, uh, the single overhang, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, da -da -da -da. There's my chainsaw. And I actually uh, don't even know if I have enough of these, uh, the purple wood. I don't think I do. But it's pretty easy to, uh, to get. Plus, I do have saplings. <clears throat> And lots of bone meal. I'll have to bring up the, uh... Huh. You know, I did that really derpy. I should have brought up... The tower one more level. And then just put the, um... The wood on the front. Yeah, well, you know what I mean. Oh, well. Okay, let's see how this is looking. Not too shabby. I think this is going to look pretty sharp when we're done. The purple really uh, pops with these uh, these white bricks. Okay, I am going to go make it daytime real quick, I think. If you guys are hearing some uh, drip, drip, drip in the background, it is raining like crazy. So there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do to get rid of that sound. I'm sorry. Okay. Pretty plain so far. Looks uh, a bit like a purple mushroom. Let's, uh... Alright, I need some more of the, uh, the bleached blocks. So let me take care of that. That's not bad, I guess. Those, uh, sort of stair look, uh, looks really good on larger builds, I think. Not so much just for a little path like that. Okay. And I think, uh... I think this would look okay for a floor. Let's put it down and see see what we get. Oh, I'm going to need more of it. Ah. Yeah, I think that'll look nice for a, a tower, a wizard tower floor. But I'm going to need even more of it, which means I uh, need more clay, which I have uh, cooking up in the furnaces. Oh! Look at that, there's a creeper wearing a creeper hat. No! Oh! And look at this guy right here! Get off of my tower. Okay, let's, uh light it up just with torches for right now now I want to pop some windows and when I think wizard tower I sort of think tall skinny windows okay let's try out our purple stained glass that is extremely purple. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's do the same thing on each side. Okay, I think it's coming along quite nicely so far. Let's finish up on the outside. Uh, 
I guess I need to put some dirt here, rather, huh? Okay, now back here... Hopefully my jetpack doesn't fail me. Ouch. Okay. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, we'll go inside, but let's uh, dress up the outside a bit. But first, I want to get rid of this swamp tree. Okay. Yeah, these are the amaranth uh, shrubs. Actually, you know what might be kind of cool? Let's put night ore down here and put the leaves on top. Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Uh-oh, are these leaves decaying? These leaves shouldn't decay. Why are you do? Why are you doing that? Don't do that. I guess we could use another type of leaf if those don't want to stay like that. But that's uh. That's kind of weird. Oh, rats. Aren't leaves supposed to stay when you place them like this? Now, granted, in this texture pack, uh, the difference between leaves is pretty subtle. Hm. Actually, I don't think these leaves are even, uh... Or even the logs, for that matter, are actually in the texture pack. I think that's still just the, uh, the standard, uh, texture. Okay. Now the oak leaves should stay. Not too shabby. Alright, um, I have an amaranth sapling, and I'd like to uh, have an example of each tree at each build. And I didn't, I don't have any bone meal. Hmm. I don't want it there. Let's put it, uh, ooh, we got a trans, we're gonna have a transition in color on these leaves anyway, because we're sort of on the border of a swamp biome. Let's uh, stick this guy right there, and then we'll bone meal him up in a bit. Okay, grow, Mr. Chew. Oh, wow, that was a tall one. Nice. Hmm, wonder if we can get two of them to grow like that. Let's see if I can line it up. So it's, uh... I don't, I don't think I have the room. Yeah, no. No, I don't. I'll put it right there. Nice! That'll be a little uneven. But uh, that looks pretty good. I like that. Um, let's see, what was I... Oh, the fence. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool! Or a wall, I'm sorry. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to try something different here. Yeah, that's not bad. 
Okay, now for the interior. I don't want to make a second floor, but a loft area I think would be nice. But I think making the loft out of the purple wood might not be so nice. I mean, no, it seems like this build is focusing more on the uh, the bricks than it is the wood, but even so, that uh, that purple cap on that thing is definitely the the, uh, the defining feature of this structure by far. I think we'll go ahead and do the loft with these. Which I'm going to need more of. Oh, okay. I have more. Okay, I'm not a big fan of uh, floating stairs. How do we fix that? I don't really think I like that either. That just looks really strange. I think I'll leave it like that for right now and play around with a few different things later. That niter can stay there, but the rest of them need to be down a little lower. Where those torches are, or the bottom here will be uh, too dark. I won't be able to place anything up here because I use the uh, the, the bottom half of the block. Oh well, that'll just be a little uh, lookout. How's that? Get my wand back. Okay. And I'll turn that into one of those uh, other tables. I just gotta get uh, the um, the writers thingy. I'll well, stick a cauldron right there. Okay, pretty Spartan. I will go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll continue to work to dress this up a little on the inside. I'm not all that great at uh, interior decorating, but I'm sure I can do better than that. Okay. Man, that niter really does its job, doesn't it? Look at how uh, those two bushes right there just lighten up the whole front. Okay, guys, I am very, very pleased with how this turned out. I like it. And that was a very good suggestion. The uh, the purple definitely does lend itself well to a uh, to a wizard tower design. Let's go back a little further and look at a distance. Nice. Very nice. It definitely looks, uh, you know, like a wizard tower, but not like sort of a, you know, a dark or, you know, evil wizard tower. It just looks like a... I don't know, something out of a Disney movie, you know, like there's some friendly old conjurer that, uh, that lives here. Okay, guys. Couple things real quick. Um, after, First of all, after we get a couple more buildings built and kind of figure out the layout of the village, or the town, this is going to be, definitely, uh, we will go ahead and start moving in some villagers, I think. But... Next episode, we will be focusing on this. This is the... Let me grab a plank here. The Silver Bell Wood. So this is a, a, a very, very light colored wood. Almost white. Very, very much cream colored, I guess. Well, not cream colored. I don't know what I'm trying to say anyway. Um, if anyone knows what was going on with the leaves of that amaranth, uh, let me know, because I thought they would stay, because uh, these are definitely some unique leaves here, and I would definitely like to use those on the build. So anyway, guys, leave your suggestions for what sh we should do with the silver bell tree for next episode. All right, guys, that's it. Definitely a lot of fun this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you next time.